Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another Canuck Spider video. So in this video, I got to thinking about um, what I wanted to do next, and I realized that now that we've been um, riding our spider and owning it for, um, we're just finishing up our third season. We've had it for just over two years. And uh, before we had the spider, we were boaters. And uh, over the years of boating, you collect all the stuff that goes along with that activity. And uh, the same goes for motorsports or motorcycling. Um, once you get into the activity as we did, you uh, start to research products and you realize that there's all these things out there that you never even knew existed, but realize you can't live without them. So in this video, I'm going to go over all the stuff that we use um, on the spider, our gear, and um, all the things we do to make the activity a lot of fun. So I hope you find this to be enjoyable and informative. Stay tuned. This is our 2016 Spider F3 Limited. I have done a review video of this before. I will leave a link in the description below. But we'll just take a quick uh, scoot around this thing and uh, show you what we've done to it. So the stock Spider 2016 um, Limited does not come with this case. Uh, we added that on afterwards primarily for storage and the fact that it provided the passenger with a nice backrest. The other thing we ordered and installed on the bike was this windshield. This is a F4 Customs 23 inch windshield, um, which we added on. Um, primary reason for this was to break up the wind a bit more and it especially increased our riding comfort for both me and especially my passenger. Just this season, I added this backrest, um, the driver's backrest. Um, I was finding that I was getting a little bit fatigued in my lower back as the um, rides got longer and this has been a total solution to that problem. It is very comfortable, keeps me sitting up in a good position. So that's been a good thing that we added. Other small thing I added this year was this ram mount just for holding my phone so that if we need to use it as a GPS, we can. And those of you that follow the channel um, have seen my review on our lug and roll trailer. Um, we have put probably close to 3,000 kilometers um, with this behind the bike. Um, and it's been a game changer for travel, as I mentioned in my videos um, previously. Um, we also have a nice cover for it, which is probably gonna be on it now for the rest of the season and over the winter, because I think our big travel things for the uh, the spider are probably over. We'll just be doing day rides through um, September and October and into the, the latter part of the season. So that's just a quick review of the spider. Um, I've also um, got, got a couple of uh, covers that I've got for it. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pop those covers on so you can see what they look like. I've got a half cover and a full cover. Half cover being the one that we take with us when we travel. For covering the spider at night and also a full cover that we use it for covering it up in the winter time for winter storage so we'll get those on and i'll give you a quick run around showing them this is the half cover we take this with us when we travel and in the evening we'll come out and put this on and it just keeps if it does happen to rain during the night or um, if there's a heavy dew, it just helps to keep the dew and stuff off the seat and the control surfaces of the bike. So you don't have to go into this kind of a drying off mode. It just attaches down there, it hooks on, just to keep everything firm. I actually bought this cover before we put that windshield on and um, um, but it fits over that 23 inch windshield no problem at all. In fact, I suspect it would even fit over a taller windshield if uh, you happen to have one. So that's what it looks like. Comes right over the back. And I believe this one will fit 
you know, from 2016 with the rear case up through 2016, 2017, and probably up through the latest models that have that rear case installed. And this is the full cover. This is the cover that you don't want to see because this means that the spider is in the garage and it's time to go away for the winter. But it does the job of keeping all the dust off it over the winter. Um, it does have a couple of little ties that are down there that go underneath the bottom and hook up together to keep it in place. But when this is on, it's usually in the uh, in the garage and it's not really you know being affected by wind. I'm sure some people use it um, um, outside, but uh, we strictly use this one inside. It comes right down over the exhaust at the back and uh, there is extra material on the inside as, as there is around the front wheels, as you can see. So we'll just do a little bit of a walk around here. And again, there's no problem fitting this over the windshield and over the rear case. Both of these covers are readily available. Um, I bought the first one directly from a company in the States called Big Bite Parts. Um, and But now I think they're both available on Amazon. And if I can find links to them on a Amazon, I will include that in the description below. So full cover. Or the spider. Now we're going to move into clothing. More by coincidence than by plan, most of the clothing that um, my wife and I wear when we're riding the spider is very similar, um, starting with these jackets. Now these are our mesh jackets that we wear during the warmer part of the year, um, and they just allow a lot of airflow through. They're both made by a company called Speed and Strength, which I believe is a division of Joe Rocket. Don't quote me on that. So that is her jacket, which is just basically the lady style of my jacket, which is made by the same company, Speed and Strength. These work great. Once you get rolling along the road on the spider uh, with the airflow coming through the mesh, it keeps you as cool as you can be anyway. So. Um, very, very pleased with the results from these and they have lots of pockets and places to store your stuff. So they have worked for us very well. Um, we bought these in our second season and we've been using them all through the second season and the third season. The next items in our clothing lineup is our cooler weather jackets. Um, we wear these in the early part of the season and the latter part of the season. Um, this is Leslie's jacket. Um, it is a Scott ladies jacket. Um, it comes with a li removable liner, which is in it at the moment, because uh, she tends just to go straight from this jacket with the liner in right out to the, uh, the mesh jacket in the summertime. And I wear a scorpion jacket. Um, it also has a liner which I have sitting over here. That's the liner that goes inside that jacket. Um, the only complaint I have with this jacket is I wish it had a liner that went right down the sleeves. Um, Leslie's jacket um, definitely um, is nicer from that perspective where the um, inside liner, which is zipped in right there, um, goes all the way down the sleeves um, and helps to keep you warm. Um, these jackets have um, good ventilation if you need them. You can see the, the corner of the zipper there for hers. And my jacket has um, zippers that go up by the armpit there and there's corresponding vents on the back. Um, these do a great job as well to keep us uh, protected. Um, they do have um, um, shoulder armor in them. Uh, my jacket does have back armor. Um, both of our mesh jackets also have shoulder and back armor. We found though that um, uh, we have tended to take the back armor out as uh, when you have the, the back rests, um, it can get uncomfortable um, after a while. So we've tended to run the jackets with the, 
the armor out, but it's there. Um, and uh, so far, thankfully, it has not been tested. Now we're on to pants. Leslie and I wear the same manufacturer of motorcycle pants, Joe Rocket. When we went shopping for motorcycle pants back at the beginning, um, she was not having a lot of luck finding pants that were fitting her very well in the ladies styles. So I thought maybe it might not be a bad idea for her just to try on a pair of men's small pants of the type that I had chosen. So sure enough, um, these ones fit her just fine. They're a little bit big, but um, they're still very comfortable. So these pants um, are your kind of standard motor motorcycle pants. We wear them in cool weather and in hot weather because they have a panel, which I'm showing you right there, um, that goes into this area right here and then goes all the way around the back of the pant and it comes back around and joins in at the front here. They also have a liner that goes in them, which I really think is more of a rain liner than an actual warmth liner, but it does add a, an extra layer of warmth when, you, when it's in there. So, motorcycle pants, Joe Rocket. So here's another piece of equipment that we hope not to see a lot of, rain gear. Again, and this may sound like a recurring theme, but we both wear the same kind of rain gear. Uh, this is uh, um, Nelson Riggs uh, rain gear. Um, we have used it um, fairly often. Um, when we've been out riding, I guess the biggest one was um, the first year that we were riding, we were up on Manitoulin Island, and when we left Manitoulin Island, we drove from uh, Manitoulin Island all the way to Sturgeon Falls in the rain, and these suits were great. A little tip for people, when you pack your rain suit and your, and your bike, make sure it's all undone and ready to go on because you don't want to be fumbling with these zippers and Velcro closures uh, when it's pouring down rain all about you. So we try and keep these things open and ready to go. Um, I'm sure all rain suits are the same, but these um, have uh, hoods rolled up in the, the top of them there. Um, the day that we got caught in our heaviest rain, I actually um, put my hood up underneath my helmet and what it prevents is the water running down the back of your neck when you're out for an extended period of time in the rain. Um, but these work good, rain suits. And obviously they come with a, with a pant. I didn't bring the pants out because they um, look just much the same as the jacket. It's just the pant that goes with them. Nelson Riggs, rain suits. The last bit of riding gear is our helmets. Another thing I want to point out here, so you think I ride this bike or I'm the driver? There's the pilot of the Spider. Hop on, honey. So let's talk about this helmet here. So we just got these helmets recently. Um, this is the LS2 Valiant 2 modular helmet. And again, we both wear the same helmet. And again, that is just coincidence more than a plan. So these are nice modular helmets. They are um, very nice fitting. They have good um, noise reduction um, um, for a modular helmet at least. And they have several different ways that, you can, ways that you can use them. So the first thing is what you're seeing right here and that's kind of the open face look. And uh, the next thing you can do is just pull the glass visor down. We actually ride with the helmets like this quite often. Um, it allows for nice airflow. Um, and the next way is you push that glass visor up out of the way. And that allows you to bring the chin bar over, which neatly conceals at the back and clicks into place. And then you can bring the visor back down for protection. And last but not least, the sun visor. Um, works really well. We're very, very happy with these helmets. Um, the communicator that we use in the helmets is on the side here. I'll just go in there. We use Cardo Freecom 2s for our communication. Um, very important tool for the backseat driver. And uh, we can talk to each other. You can listen to music on them. 
you can listen to the radio on them you can talk on your phone on them if you're so inclined um, but we just use it mainly for communicating with each other so that's our helmets LS2 Valiant 2 modular helmet so the last part of our gear that I'm going to review is the stuff that we use to do all the filming that we do during our YouTube videos. Uh, I am not a videographer or a photographer by any stretch of the, of the imagination, but we have managed to accumulate some bits and pieces along the way, and I'm just going to show you what we use to create these videos. So this is... DJI Osmo Mobile 3 gimbal for smartphones and I take all the video with a um, Apple iPhone XR or 10R I guess it's actually called. Um, this is a Joby selfie stick. Um, I also use it as a tripod as I am right now to show you how things sit on it. and. Um, this is the optional head for holding your smartphone with the selfie stick. Right now I have it just screwed into the bottom of the gimbal. So moving on to when I do um, helmet footage. Um, both, um, I have two of these Acaso V50 Pro action cameras. I'm actually filming this on one of them and I have the other one mounted on the top of my helmet. Um, when we purchased these helmets, um, I couldn't get a good um, place to put it on the side. That's where I had it on my last helmet. So um, I popped it up on top here. I've done some test videos on it. It looks pretty good. You probably haven't seen any footage from this in our videos so far as we just got these helmets recently. Another acquisition of this season was this little guy right here. This is a DJI Mavic Mini. And uh, I bought the Flymore pack, which came with the three batteries and a charger. It came with the remote, this nice little case, and some extra propellers and control sticks, etc. I found when I first started using the Mini that using it with my phone I couldn't really see very well. Um, so I recently added this Skyreet um, tablet holder which I use with my iPad. And uh, I like it a lot better. It gives you a much better view of what's going on. It does increase the weight a little bit but um, I'm prepared to um, put up with that um, to have a better view of what I'm doing, doing when I'm flying the drone. because. Um, this little drone is, uh, although it's um, very, very, uh, you know, worthy of what it does in terms of video, uh, once it gets a little bit away from you, you can't see it. And um, it helps to have the bigger screen to see what's going on. So that's the gear that we use to film our videos. Well, everybody, that wraps up another Connect Spider video. This is a little different. We weren't traveling anywhere, um, but I wanted to kind of review all the gear that we've acquired over the last couple of years because um, our third season is sort of coming to an end. Um, I hope this was helpful and enjoyable, and we'll hope to see you in the next Connect Spider video. Thank you very much for watching.